Yo, it's Anchor Man 28 here, and I have a Wi-Fi battle. It's been a while, but you know, forgive me. And now uh, let's get into battle. Uh, this sprite was made by me. And I'll have the link in the description. So he goes into this ghost thingy, chandelier shit, and I go into heavy bomb. Go for you turn. This thing is scarfed. I have uh, well, not my heavy bomb, but that uh, chandelier. It's scarfed. And I didn't know it now, but I know it now since it's out the battle. So he goes for fire blast, and I thought I resist that. I expected it, but it did a shit ton, and I'm like, holy shit, I can't take another one of these. So, I switch out, go into Kingdra, and, you know, knowing my luck, I believe I get a burn. It does, uh, it resists it pretty nice, but I get a burn. I'm like, really? Shit. So, he withdraws, and I go for rest, because I don't, this is a physical Kingdra. I don't want any... I don't want burn because that renders my Kingdra useless. So, and I have the Chesto Berry. Resto Chesto. But I probably should change that to Lumberry. Yeah, maybe. I'm thinking about it. So it goes for Joe Prec. I don't. This is the weirdest Empoleon I've ever seen. Ever. Like, normally I expect him to set up rocks or, like, you know, use agility or something like that. But this one just had the weirdest mustas ever. So he goes into this uh, chandelier and he's about to use fire blast on me or shadow ball. He predicts he predicts Kingdra goes for shadow ball, and I was like, hey, that that's a good prediction there. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. So he goes for a shadow ball again. Kingdra's gone. Kingdra is absolutely useless in this battle. Minus one nine brought him. And I go to Registeel, so because I can wall this thing to Oblivion, kind of. And he goes into Mittens, his Rotom of his own. I go for Thunder Wave. And me being stupid, I forget that Rotom can uh, freaking can trick Choice Scarfs. So, now I have a Registeel with Choice Scarf, which is not good at all. But uh, I have to work my way around it anyway. So... He switches out, goes into his Umbreon. This thing is annoying as hell. It's been annoying since the, the dawn of time, but whatever. I go for a uh, freaking Seismic Toss and does kind of good damage, I guess. Go to Ambipom because I know this thing. I don't think this. I think the only attack and move this thing has is Payback, and that's not even that good. So, uh, yeah, he's going to go for Protect. It's a Wish Protect Umbreon with uh, Heal Bell and Payback. And my MB Palm is, uh, you know, the standard MB Palm fake out, uh, U turn, all that shit. So, my U turn uh, does okay damage, I guess. And MB Palm comes back to me. I send out, I think I go for As Elf, because I know I could probably set up on this thing. It goes for Wish on this turn. And I think, I'm, I know he's going to protect, so I'm about to use a Nasty Plot. I think I get two Nasty Plots up. Um, here's the first one. Because I know he's not going to be able to do anything. But this is where he reveals to me that he has payback after this. Or after all this BS. I should probably speed this up more. But, you know, I want you guys to see the animation. And I probably couldn't keep up with it if I sped up a little faster. But, uh, he goes for payback. It does a lot. And I'm like, oh, shit. So, I go for fire blast. And it does over half. And I'm grateful. It almost knocks it out. Almost. Not there, but, you know, whatever. And then uh, As Elf goes down, but I'm glad to get uh, uh, Umbreon under half so I can go into uh, Ambipom and Revenge Kill it. But he goes for Protect. I'm like, why stall it out? Why I stall this out? Because that thing is going to die regardless. So he switches out his uh, Umbreon, goes into uh, Glade, his freaking Chandelure, and I go for a U turn, and it resists. You turn like a boss, cause you know it's four times resisted. And I go into Reggie Steel. He goes for fire blast and misses. Thank the Lord. I I, I actually prayed that <laughs> this thing would miss, cause my luck hasn't been the greatest lately. And I go for Thunder Wave. It hits. I forget I'm Choice Scarf, so I have to switch out. And he gets paralyzed when I switch out. So I'm like, yes. No thunder, no freaking fire blasts for you. So go for thunderbolt, takes us out. Thank God. And I, that's one less problem to worry about. So he goes into his galette, the weird, the weirdest Empoleon I've ever seen ever in my entire life. And he goes into, he goes for Aqua Jet on my Reggie Steel, which is weird. Go away. And uh, the phone's ringing. Oh well. 
Um, I go for Thunder Wave on his uh, Rotom because, uh, you know, I want my Rotom to go faster than his. I didn't want any type of speed tie or whatever. But, whatever. He goes for Overheat. It does a lot, kind of. But I live it, thank God. And the next turn, I will be able to take him out with a Thunderbolt, even though he resists it. But whatever, my Rotom's a boss. And I go first. So, that's uh, a dead Rotom right there. And, uh, what else? He sends out his Umbreon. Which is also going to die to a Thunderbolt. I don't know why he's trying to... He's trying to stall out, but but still... I'll, all he's doing is just making me get more HP. So, my Rotom just, like... You know, basically just benefits from this. So, I go for Thunderbolt. And that's a dead Umbreon. So, I think next he's going to go out to his Tangrowth. <laughs> Dirty Dan Tangrowth. So, here's where... It threw me off. That thing went first. And I was like, really? That's That thing went first? That's weird. It outsped me. I don't know if that's a speed tire or anything, but whatever. I scared it out with MB Palm. It goes into uh, Relic Hand. I go for a Fake Out. And then I go for uh, U Turn next turn because I know I can't do much to this thing. I have Low Kick, but I don't think that would have done that much. I don't know. I haven't been I haven't been Wi Fi battling lately. I just had this battle today and you know, I had I had a feeling I just had to get something out today. So go to Weezing because uh, I'm a physical wall and uh Rather Camp can't touch me because, you know, I'm a physical wall and Yeah. And I think I go for Taunt because I don't know why. I predicted his tan growth to come in, but he stayed in first off, and I don't know why I have taunt on Weezing, but you know, it worked out for me in this battle, so whatever. And he goes for Head Smash. That doesn't do anything at all. And, um, yeah, now he's just going to be like, I'm going to keep going for Thunderbolts, and he's just going to keep, uh, Head Smashing me. I think the taunt wears out, wears off here, and I thought he's going to switch to Tangrowth or something. I don't know my thought process here. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But the taunt wears off. I go for taunt again. I should have known he's just going going to go for a head smash again. So I could have just easily went for Thunderbolt, taking it out, and had more HP to survive off of. But no, not me. I decided to take the freaking... Freaking... Wow, I just had a brain fart. Anyway, I took a chance and it failed. But, you know, that's the game. And here comes the weird Napoleon that totally threw me off. I switch out, go into uh, Reggie Steel, and uh, he's gonna go for freaking Steel Wing. That was stupid. What what Empoleon has Steel Wing? That's completely stupid. Obvious, completely stupid. And I go for a uh, Seismic Toss. That doesn't really do anything. Um, yeah, his whole team was kind of weird, but I I, I I give him the originality points for that, I guess. So. Uh, Withdraws Dirty Dan, goes into uh, his weird Empoleon with it doesn't even have stealth rocks, it has Aqua Jet though. And there's some weird plays he did. Aqua Jet, I, why did he do that? I guess that's probably his only attacking move or besides Steel Wing. And I go for a uh, Seismic Toss again. I was like, wow. when this happened, I was like, wait, what? Why did you do that? But whatever. So, go into Ambi Palm. He's fearing a fake out, so he switches out to Dirty Dan. I use fake out, and then I think I'm gonna just gonna kill it off with um U-turn, or I think he switches out. No, 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 he doesn't. I just kill it off with U-turn, and there goes Tangrowth. And then what else? Uh, I think I switch out to Weezing, yeah. And then I just finish it off with a. Uh, I just finish off the freaking um Napoleon with Thunderbolt, and that's the game, pretty much. So, yeah, where you come, subscribe, and do your thing. He goes for Aqua Aqua Jet. That was stupid. <laughs> I would at least went for Steel Ring. But whatever. Uh, Pullion's dead, and I win the game. So, good game. Uh, Dean something. I met him on Smoke on Battlefinder. Wi Fi Battlefinder. That thing is useful. I haven't Wi Fi battled in a minute, and I don't know any Zats or anything to go to. So, if you want to battle quick, you go to Smoke on Battlefinder. And that. You know, that's all. I'll, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.